Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. So, <laughs> what's being buried in the infrastructure bill that's about to be signed off on is a mileage fee. That means you, a national mileage fee, which means you pay a certain percentage, two cents, whatever, mile, whatever, for every mile you drive. Well, that's great if you're not a trucker or mobile notary of somebody who drives for a living. That sounds lovely. Lovely. Now, what they're trying to do is reduce you to taking um, this communistic train system. Because understand, at any point in time, the government can shut down the trains. They can't shut down your personal vehicle. So let's say the worst happened in... Say you're in San Francisco. Something bad happens in San Francisco. You want to get out of San Francisco and go to Las Vegas. Well, you don't have to take a train or a plane. You can drive your car. They want to shut that down. See, their goal is to make us more and more like Europe. Because that's their ideal. It's to make us more and more like Europe and China. So honestly, think about it. A per mile tax. You know who's gonna not, who's not gonna pay that per mile tax? Government officials. Guarantee you, Biden won't be paying that. Kamala Harris won't be paying that. AOC won't be paying that. No, we followed to the socialist regime. It's where we are now. It's where we are. If this bill passes and Republicans push it, or Republicans go along with it, we're lost. Keep your gas-burning car. Make sure you're up on your firearms training. Be self-sufficient. Keep cash in your house. Keep food and water in your house. Keep wood. Keep the means of survival in your house. Because I'm getting a dark picture that we're going to need that. Especially after hearing this. A per mile tax. Per mile tax, people. Ridiculous. Alright, well, thank you for watching this episode of the Dan Dawson Show. Like, subscribe, share, and as always, do what you gotta do.